Hey, V! You ready? You nervous, Tom? How'd you know? First time you've done anything like this. Just imagine you're doing what a doll does. Just a different program. You're great at that. So glad you came. Molded over in my head, y'all were right. Sometimes the only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts and a bullet between the eyes. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. Just remember, let the behavioral chip do what it wants. Got no time to deliberate and weigh decisions. Just follow your instincts. Freeze, tense up even for a second. Could cost you your life. And Michael, where's she? Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicions. She'll make him stay put until we're in. All right, we going in? Let's do this. Suffered from severe burns and toxin exposure. The Swedish Academy Award for Literature has announced its latest recipient, Virginia Granchester, citing her most recent book, In the Shade of an Apple Tree, as a treasure of this generation. Granchester, who is an AI... You two, head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. Her first novel, Requiem for a... Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. In the shade of an apple tree is a drama set in 20th century Ireland. And is all... have to go to shit.
getting sick of this. I'm a soldier, not a fucking handyman. But then, everyone all in position? Tom and Roxy should already be at clouds. We go on Maiko's signal. They'll mop up the to do with her own. But first, we gotta get into the penthouse. Coming with me? More likely not to be detected if you're alone. Besides, I'll be more useful here. If they activate any alarms, I can override. Get in breach, security. Get me in the penthouse. Thought I could do it, but... Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Gotta manage on your own. Okay, on my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. In the shade of an apple tree is a drama set in 20th century Ireland and is already considered a masterpiece of post-collapse literature. This has been your world report. How's Thank the sitch? They're in inside in clouds. Who's taking which floor? I'll take the lower level. Tom will head upstairs. We're all set. Yo, 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 my tubers, shroomers, and fumers. Mr. Whitey here. Drop that milk toast kibble and rush to the nearest store for a taste of sweet, sweet, sweet clean speed. Because life is too short to be slow. Kaboom! Soya still my chiste door. An explosion of taste. All right, on the roof. Jump down onto the balcony. Careful, though, okay?
okay? Can I film what I can? Fuck you! Okay, later, Chew. On my mark. Go! late. I told you, I have shit tons of work. No, don't wait up. I don't want any fucking dinner. Everything you cook tastes like sawdust anyway. Love you too. Punch the alarm. Not if I got anything to say about it. Theo will test it himself in the Grand Canyon. 
You think it was his idea? A cowardly bitch, bitch! Jesus fuck! Floor is clear! I killed him! I killed them all! Same here! Go to the surveillance cam in front of the security room. I was hoping you'd make less trouble getting here. Luckily, they're all jacked into virtues. It'd be game over otherwise. Right, wrong. Chicks will give you shit no matter what you do. This one's a real charmer, too. I don't like her either. Tries too hard. Could have called off the guards, you know? Would have been quicker, simpler. I don't have that kind of authority. Yet. Why are there three guys? What's she playing That's our at? target, Hiromi Sato. Don't have authority yet? Sound damn sure of yourself. Left no room for error. We're exactly where we need to be. What are they watching? Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. A lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Hiromi answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. This is not what we agreed. Look at me. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on my I need face. Claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. This is the only way. Michael! I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Michael, our plan made no allowance for witnesses. A show of force, we said. And any show requires an audience. I know how this needs to play out, better than anyone. You gotta trust me. I thought this through many times. Meaning you want to replace her only. Mm-hmm. Even if that means joining the Tiger Claws. How the fuck else do you expect me to protect clouds from other gangs? Do your thing. Well, she is no Barker. Wait. What's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered Oswald Forrest. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough? This is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Saro's foolish, inept endeavors. But this? 
I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. V, what the fuck she doing? Cloud needs new management. Am I to understand that this? Hold on, Michael. Think you're getting carried away. I see not all has been agreed. V, you gotta take him down. That's why we're here. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. Oh, fuck you, my son! Oh, fuck him! V, what the hell were you thinking? You any idea what's gonna happen now? Matter of fact, I do. Either you walk away and never come back to Clouds, or I end you here and now. I see you got everything planned out, but you forgot just one thing. I've also got a doll. <laughs> It's on the lower level of the apartment. Then find the elevator. Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. They weren't followed. Down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. Don't be dramatic. Judy. There's a difference between being a gonk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. You don't need to believe that. I just know it. Considering Thank you. For yourself or a loved one, See you later, V. See you around, Judy. Oh, you again. Thank you once again for your help. And yet, you did not help. Good intentions do not justify murder. Please, be my in peace. Fine, be my guest. Where were you?
else got you so amused? How's Jake holding up? Not so great. We managed to stem the bleeding, but without that implant. What's going on? Jake got hit. Badly. He needs a new kidney as of this minute. Only problem is, he's got sickle cell anemia. He'll need a specially customized kidney implant. As you can imagine, that kind of thing isn't easy to come by. Out here in the Badlands. Raff and Shiv. Were they the ones behind this? Mm-hmm. We pulled through this time. Barely. Shrapnel caught Jake half an inch below his flak jacket. <sighs> That's a tough break. It still isn't too late to save him. But time's running out. You can find an implant like that in Night City. No questions asked. Right. Dakota called up her contact at one of the hospitals. Was told they could work something out. But... But that means getting to the city, and you see the state the camp's in. Raff and Shiv could come back at any moment. It's all hands on deck. You know where this is going, V. I won't beat around the bush. Can you help us? You can count on me. I know, V. Dakota's contact works at a hospital in Little China. All you have to do is pick up the implant. The money will take a more secure route. Gotcha. See you later, then. You there. Uh, miss, did Dakota send you? That's right. You got the goods? Right here. Dynalar Super Kidney. Especially for sickle cell anemics. Just like we agreed. Eddie's will get to you. Yeah, yes. Later, I know. I have to go now. I'm operating. Fucking crib! Right fucking now!
Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I won't if you give me an explanation. And it better be fucking good. The phone call with Dakota. It was tapped. The police. They made me do it. Nice try. I just wouldn't go to all that trouble over a kidney implant. Wait, please! It's the truth! They said they were rounding up every last Raff and Shiv member in Night City. But Dakota isn't... Never mind. You won't please, get it. Please, let me go. I, I didn't want to get mixed up in this. I had no choice. No one's touched this implant apart from you, right? Uh, well, uh, I can't say for certain. Think carefully now. I don't want to have to jack into you and find out for myself. The police, they... They put a virus on the super kidney. The original firmware is on this shard. You'll need to swap them out. Get out of my sight. Oh, mother of God. Thank you. Thank you. Out of my sight. It's better be worth it. Got Jake's implant, but there's the virus on it. You'll have to swap out its firmware with the original on the shard. <laughs> what a surprise. Nomads always get special treatment. Thanks for being careful, V. Come by in a few hours. Things should settle down by then. Yes? What's up? Wanna see what you got in stock. Only the baddest firearms in all the bad lands. Isn't that why you're back?
carcelera de mi mujer me pidió que gorroneara un libro de ahí. Right. So, where was I? Ah, that was it. Nice weather today. Huh. I think it was here. Okay, waiting. Oh, hey! Hi! Hey, how's it going? Glad you're here. We need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh, soy meat. Okay. Oh no. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. Oh no. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and. Is this an ancient Ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. I just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I, you know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. In those um, where will I find the rice? I'll call you back later. Really nice of you to come. Basmati, nice. Thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. I was all river. I just helped. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy don't had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. <laughs> I'm so quick to break down. Anyway, the rice is right there. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital.
He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. Oh, my parents died. Now, oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. When now? You're not going back to the PD? PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle we'll River, see. you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. We? Join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, Big Trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. Well, what do you think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Oop. Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablado. Oh, uh -huh, he's the worst! But I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco y Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids. But we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. Hey, Evie, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast. But not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's cool. Is that all you got? He's it? Nuh-uh. 
Watch this! He's hit! He's hit! Next round! Next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! Take that! Hey! Is that all you got? Nuh-uh! Watch this! Take that! Hey! I have better aim! Okay, that's all of them. But next time we gotta be faster. yet. Oh, no. They had me flat beat. Hey! Food's on the table. So? Was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah! The bad guys, too! Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Grew up in Haywood. Whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. If you say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Joss? Well, why hide it? Probably asked you to say that himself, didn't he? Wow. How did she know? Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks me and Uncle River make a good couple? <laughs> I do. <laughs> v just voted. Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew. 
Whew, the situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views, right. This way, I... oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah, okay, good. Just push. Uh, seems easier to open. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. Apparently the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Out here you can't smell the shit corpse dump on the streets. Like the city's their own personal toilet. Shit flush repeat. Hmm. Poetic. Couldn't have said it better. Got something for you. Wow. <laughs> What's the occasion? Aiming to close the door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. That the pickup line you settled on? Because maybe you heard three in my life that were worse. And just a little at that. Wouldn't mind hearing them. Yeah. Happy to oblige. Will you swallow? Beautiful. <laughs> you serious? This guy and I. Sitting in a diner. Five minutes, he gapes at me. Not a word. Then, drops that bomb. Oof. So, I'm at a bar, and this gonk taps me on a shoulder and says, Here I am, baby. You got two wishes left. What'd you say? Spoke my second wish. That he would fuck off. Was there a third? Mm-hmm. Wished him a speedy recovery. Broken arm. Merciful, I'd say. I'll fuck you for free. <laughs> what? Got a contract. To pull info out of a gigolo in a tech mink fedora. It was weird. He was spilling. And then he pulled that one out of his hat. A candid and generous proposal, V. You should have at least considered it. Okay, last one was good. You know... Woman once told me I have sexy calves. That's it? Just like her boyfriends. 
before he lost his legs in the war. Yikes. She was right, though. I do have great calves. I see what you're doing, River. And how am I doing? Do I stand a chance? Just don't fall in love with me. Too late, V. Too late. River, I... I can't. I'm sorry. You're turning down the best damn lover in this whole trailer park. Friends? Yeah. Friends. All right. We can still have a drink. Something strong's sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. To friendship. To friendship. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. We'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. Well, at least we had fun yesterday. Yeah. Oh, but now I gotta roll. Promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy. No rush either. Get your sea legs back. Take as much time as you need. Uh, apologize to Joss for me. We kind of dined and dashed yesterday. And left puke all over the bathroom? Oh, shit. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. How's Jake doing? He's easing into it, slowly. Needs a day or two to get up on his feet. Glad to hear that. You have my thanks, V. On behalf of myself and the entire family. 